The last time we replaced the social media text with font awesome icons. And what we have left here is we still don't have anything in the main and we don't have a logo put in here. So I need to finish those up and then we'll go ahead and do the responsive design real quick. Um, I put a couple images in here. Um, the Viscom image, which is just two characters overlaid uh, for, it's a logo for this. It's just a filler. And then of course, my image for this main area, because that's what this is laid out to be. Um, first name, image, and then some lorem ipsum or bacon ipsum or something ipsum. So let's get to it. We've already got the image in the header, but we didn't actually put an image, a source image in here. So what I'm going to do is we have this viscom.png, which is what I have. It's in the images folder and it's viscom dot png and i'm going to save this and we'll take a look at what we have now now because i didn't size this image it's going to be blown way out you can see it's just like way out of size and it squeezes everything over so we want to be able to constrain the image based on the containing div and it's really easy to do we just go into the css and in the css we We'll scroll up to where we have our header and we have logo which is flex one and what we want to do is control logo image and we want to control the image itself and we just say width 100% so that will force the image to be constrained to 100% the width of the containing div which in this case is one of 10 columns. If we look back in the index, we can see logo image is within the logo. So this might really be a extra container that's not necessary, but we already have it, so we're gonna use it. I've made the changes to the style.css. We'll save it. And when we refresh, now our logo is just taking up one column out of 10 with the menu being the other column and then my name being the other eight the rest of the columns so that was pretty easy to do let's go ahead and put some content in the center here and we'll do the same uh, sort of thing here we will go to the index page we have the main section and I'm going to put a div in the section and give it a class of profile image because I want to do that circular uh, part of the image and I'm going to say image source equals so serious uh, JPEG alt all images should have an alt tag equals profile image for Mark Mace close the image tag close this div and oops and then I'm going to create another div and I'm going to give it a class of about me. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll do another div. And we use lorem ipsum all the time. But I've got this source for bacon ipsum. I'm going to say three paragraphs. Give me bacon. Uh, just so you can see it. This is, uh, let me see, get it to move over here. Ah, ah, here we go. Bacon Ipsum. So now you know 
there's other choices. <clears throat> Go ahead and copy the content. And paste it in. I'm going to put these in paragraphs because the text should be in paragraphs, which means I need to close paragraph tag, start another paragraph, close paragraph tag, another paragraph, and finally close paragraph tag. Let's save this and see what it looks like. Let's try this again. So I am not showing the profile image, but the alt text is showing up. So what I did wrong is I didn't actually put the path in here. So this is images slash profile, save it again, go back over, refresh. Images, profile image, what? Oh, okay. Um, I put that in the wrong place. Images slash so serious. Save it. And now refresh. Once again, this is huge. It's way bigger than it needs to be. And the way to do that is to once again constrain it. So I'm going to look, going to look at profile images, or profile image, the class of profile image, and control the image within it. We'll go open up the style.css. And since this is in the main section, nav main dot profile image img, we'll say width. And in this case, I'm going to do 80% because I want it to be a little bit smaller. And I also want that to be a circular image. So we can do that by doing border radius 50%. Now, when I do this, the 80%, it's actually going to be slightly off. To, it's going to be off to the side. It's not going to be centered. Um, but let's look at it first and see what this, see that we're in the right direction. And we are. We've got the image, we've got, uh, it's not the full width. So let's center this. Um, since I've already got this up, what I ought to be able to do here is do a new style for logo image and do margin zero auto. That didn't have an effect. So let's do the image itself and say margin zero auto and that didn't do it. So instead of having the image be 80%, we need that logo image or first off, I'm looking at the wrong thing again. Um, so I was messing with the logo image when I really wanted to be messing with the profile image. So let's do margin zero auto, and that doesn't affect it. And that's because the image is a replacement. It's not a, it doesn't actually have a height and width until it's put in place. So we're going to uncheck this. We're going to highlight the profile image, click plus, and that's going to give me this profile image here. And now we can do margin 
zero auto. That's still not going to do it. Let's do text align center. And that puts it in the center. So that works for me. We'll go ahead and do that. We can ignore this. But basically, by using the uh, Chrome developer tools, we've shortcutted reloading, saving something, reloading, saving something. So in here, we'll do dot profile image and text align center. Save that, refresh the page. And since we actually have content content here now, we can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and get rid of the border because we have something to show here. I want to make sure that's still working, and let's get rid of the border. I'm going to just comment it out. And we're good to go. Save it. Make sure we're in the right spot. Looks good. Well, looks good enough. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is this won't let me scroll down to see what the footer looks like. Um, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, we'll change this. Let's change this away. Yeah, the footer's still there, so we're in good shape. So the one of the key things is f going from responsive or mobile first is what makes it all happen is these things called media queries. So we're going to add a media query in that will cause these to no longer be stacked on top of each other, but across the bottom when we're in a larger screen. So right now, the Pixel 2 XL is 411 pixels wide. Um, we're going to say that anything above 800 pixels, uh, we want these to display across the bottom instead of being stacked. And now that I've built that suspense up, I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit on that. And we'll do that as a separate thing. Um, sorry about that. But I know you're just anticipating doing this. Uh, but the... I want to have enough time to actually talk about the media queries and what it means and give examples. And if I do that in this video, it's going to end up being really long. All right. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.